Hey you, Carol Lee, here to empower you to live a life beyond your wildest dreams, to be seen, to be heard, and to be loved, to validate yourself from the inside out and not seek outward validation. So the subject for today is living in a toxic relationship and being compassionate with yourself about it. I was in a marriage for 20 years with a person who just was very self-centered, was very isolating. He would gaslight. It was like walking, walking on eggshells around this person. I would try to communicate and I, I would be met with such anger and hatred and I would blame myself for this. I would blame myself and say, well, maybe I should have communicated it differently. And I do believe you should always be open to changing your communication with someone because everybody is different. But in this case, it was toxic, defensive, gaslighting, stonewalling. It was abusive behavior. This message is for all of you who are experiencing a relationship like this, and I just ultimately really want you to know that you are not alone and to be ca compassionate with yourself because we have to, we go through things in life and we're at where we're at because of our parents, our experiences, things we've been through. And now I can look back clearly and see, you know, I had a, a schizophrenic mother and a bipolar sister, two very narcissistic people. I was invisible in my household, even with my father, who was a very quiet, don't rock the boat person who just wasn't around because he was working a job. And even during the divorce, my dad just sort of disappeared, never offered to take me and it was all about him so it seems pretty natural that i would then go into a relationship where it was all about him it was about what he wanted to do and what i want you to know is there is light at the end of the tunnel and if you're watching this video you're seeking that light and it's possible and I invite you to begin working on yourself. You don't have to do anything today. Granted, if you're being abused, that's another situation that I would highly, like, I believe that you should seek safety. Even verbal abuse is, is something I wouldn't wish upon anyone, but I do understand how difficult it can be to get out of that but that you're here, you're seeking that light. And a good place where you can start is to start working on yourself. And that is what I did. I invite you to do the same. Take a look at your belief about your relationship because looking at the belief that I had was, this is as good as I can can get. This is what I deserve. This is what life is. This is what life has to present to me. This is what's available. This is how people are. And as I began to work on myself, I began to see and meet people that were showing me that that is not true, that there are people who want to support friendships and relationships, and they can communicate with you and talk with you. But another thing that you need to understand is where you're at, what kind of communicator you are, and working on those things. I know the very first thing I did was make a list of my ideal partner. And then I started ticking off that list of how I could become that partner. And it wasn't long before I decided to leave that toxic relationship because I had found my value. I found my worth and 
my confidence to leave that situation and know that I was worthy and deserved more than that. And I want that for you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I love to interact with you. I hope this helps you understand that there is light at the end of the tunnel and to be compassionate with yourself during this time. You are where you are, but working on growing and understanding that you are worthy of support, respect, and kindness, and that there are people out there who are either working on it themselves or know how to do it, or, I mean, there's all sorts of people, but this is not the only kind of person out there and you shouldn't have to walk on eggshells you should be met with support and feel safe to discuss things with your partner this person should be wanting you to grow and evolve and be healthy and loved and vice versa if if you're not there that could be something that you could start working on is your list of the perfect partner and then start becoming that partner but that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and go ahead and check out my website it's coachcarolee.com i'm also at instagram at coach carolee i do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions i'm actually working on a course for you so you can just You'll be able to access this all empowerment coaching in a course. But until that's done, just go ahead and check out my stuff and I'll see you next video.